everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Little Craft Harbor. So today we are going to use six different kinds of emulsifier wax that we can find in the market to make a very simple hand cream. So today, the texture uh, to test the texture and the color of the cream itself, we'll be using fractionated oil, coconut oil, or transparent coconut oil to avoid any discoloration. And we will also be avoiding the use of essential oil and fragrance oil to, to be able to see the actual or the genuine color of the cream itself. And all of the emulsifying fire wax we will also be using the same simple hand cream recipe to avoid any confusion. So this is actually my first time having to make six different kinds of hand cream using six different kinds of emulsifier all at once. So I'm not too sure about the outcome of uh, the whole thing. So let's find it out through this video.
So this is emulsifying wax. The texture itself is really uh, kind of thick but watery. Uh, it's not very creamy actually. So it's very watery. Um, And I think I have put too much on the hand, I have to extend it. So, um, in terms of cost effectiveness, I think this emulsifying wax is a really good choice. It's really thick, it's, but it's more watery. Um, the texture itself, the feeling itself, and just a little dose of it actually um, do much more, you know. So, <laughs> this is my hand now. So um, is it absorbing? I think uh, it takes time to absorb into the skin but what I would say is that it's really thick and it's more watery and yeah so the absorption I think it takes time so it's very good for those who have really dry skin So it takes time um, as you massage that solution, that hand cream solution into your skin. It takes time for the hand to you know absorb into it. So overall, in terms of uh, creaminess, um, I will put a four out of ten. But watery, uh, I will put it around eight out of ten. Cool. So yep. So my hands are really moistured. Next will be our emulsifying wax and F coconut oil. So let's see. So okay, the texture itself is compared to emulsifying wax itself is that um, it's more diluted. Um, it's not as condensed as um, emulsifying wax. So let's put it on the hand. So this is really really watery. Um, it's really moisturizing so those who don't really like uh, creamy and thick hand cream I would suggest you use emulsifying wax Anna okay it's very water-based so as compared to emulsifying wax this emulsifying wax just a little uh, drop of that uh, hand cream it covers my whole hand but this one actually is more um, thin in texture and it's not as thick as um, emulsifying wax itself so you see here um, it's very watery it's not very dense so this is more of a um, very light hand cream okay let's move to eco mouse wax coconut oil okay as you can see that is really 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 thick, and even like you can see the hand cream when we covered it last night, it does uh, stick to the top of the covering. Scoop it up, and this time let's try the right hand. Okay, right hand, hey, looks like it is not very dense, but in terms of creaminess, this is very creamy. So um, Ecomos are usually 100% organic. They are because they has it costed to prove that they are organic. So as compared to emulsifying wax NF and Ecomos, um, Ecomos has um, a more dense texture in terms of being a hand cream. It's really creamy, by the way. Um, it's not annoying. It's not irritating. So, yep. So you can see the thickness. It's really thick. It's like ice cream. It's like cream. Yeah. Next will be olive oil one thousand coconut oil. Okay. Compared to Eco Mouse, it's still watery, but it's very thick and creamy. So 
So in terms of Oliver 1000, um, the texture is more oilier. Um, it's quite thick and it's very creamy. So it's not very watery by the way. And yep. Okay, so yesterday when I was trying to make um, citeryl alcohol, um, apparently it's not an emulsifying wax, so the water and also the cream itself did not mix together. And and up, I only had to scoop up the wax and the oil itself. So the water part, I actually discarded it. So it's really really hard because it's only like 100% pure fat, wax and oil. Really hard. So let's try it on our hand. So uh, with the absence of water in this um, hand cream, it's actually very waxy. It's um, more thicker as compared to the first four waxes, hand cream. So it's very oily, as you can see the reflection of the oil itself. So we'll be waiting for a few minutes just to check on, you know, um, how the last one actually lasts. Okay. Hello once again. So okay, after I have already tested five different kinds of um, hand cream with different kinds of cosmetic wax, this is the outcome of uh, my comments of the different waxes that we have used uh, today. So first would be the emulsifying wax. So what I really like about the emulsifying wax is that uh, it's quite creamy but not watery and uh, it does not give me any oily or uh, abusive feel and it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly. So uh, I would prefer this to be a moderate preference for my skin and yeah, let's go to the next one. So emulsifying wax NF coconut oil as compared to the original emulsifying wax. Um, this is actually has a lighter texture. Uh, what I meant is uh, it's quite watery and one dose of it actually um, doesn't go a long way. So when you put it into the hand, it absorbs pretty quickly, but it still keeps my hand pretty dry. So emulsifying wax and then I, uh, I would think that it would be a very good choice for those who want to make um, facial cream because uh, our face don't need any thick texture. So emulsifying wax and then would be a very good um, lotion maker for the face. Okay. Next would be the Eco Mouse Wax. So Eco Mouse Wax uh, is pretty creamy, uh, but it's not waxy. Uh, it's not irritating my skin. It's not giving me a very oily uh, feeling. And when I use it, actually, uh, it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly. And it has a very creamy texture, by the way. So when I use it, uh, the, my hands are moisturized. I don't feel dry uh, as compared to emulsifying wax and that. So Eco Mouse um, Oil um, is actually one of my greatest preference among all the five uh, other cosmetic wax. Uh, next would be the Oliver 1000. So Oliver 1000 is actually um, without olive, but not 100% olive oil. It also uh, contributes um, with palm oil waxes as well. Okay, so what Oliver 1000 is, it is a uh, very creamy and also um, oily feel. So those who have really really dry skin on the egg, uh, leg areas or on the feet, on the toes, actually you can use olive oil 1000 because when I am uh, I put it onto my skin, you actually moisturize that place but I don't really like that um, very greasy, oily feeling. So, But if I put it on my leg and it doesn't really bother uh, that part of my skin, um, so olive oil 1000 would be a really, really great uh, wax for the leg or the very dry area in your, in your body or you can put it in your tummy or anywhere but not on my hand. So last comes to sterile alcohol. So what I found about sterile alcohol is that it is really oily and it's really greasy and my hands don't like it. So after I applied this um, uh, oily, greasy uh, wax onto my hand, 
um, actually it gives me a uh, very hard to you know um, to control something like even while, while I was trying to write just now I had to wash my hand uh, to, to you know hold things properly because um, after applying this onto my hand actually uh, hard to uh, control anything and it does not really moisturize my skin as I thought it is um, it is greased, it's on top of the skin but it does not absorb into the skin uh, that much and it has a very sticky feeling so yeah this is um, the comments I have on these five different waxes that uh, I use so um, any questions you can actually comment down below the comment box and I will actually read it and reply you and you know if you have, you have any uh, things you want to share and you know, do share in the comment box and we can learn together so hope to see you again uh, on our next video, YouTube video. Thank you.